The sister of late America's Got Talent star Jane Marshewski has issued a heartbreaking tribute to the singer after she passed away over the weekend following a lengthy battle with cancer. Jane, who performed under the stage name Nightbirdie, tragically died on Saturday in San Clemente, California. She was 31 years old. In a statement to The Sun, her grieving sister Caitlin Marshewski voiced her heartbreak over the performer's death, but said she leaves behind a legacy of hope and strength that came from her faith in Jesus. Her life was nothing close to easy, but she lived it with true joy and strength, Caitlin said. Jane truly understood the beauty of life and the importance of living each day as it is given to us. We can't always change our circumstances, but in the words of Jane, we are worth more than the bad things that happen to us. In an obituary shared by the Marshewski family, relatives said they have been left, devastated by her passing and unimaginable loss. They also remembered the 31-year-old for her larger-than-life personality and unrivaled sense of humor. She had a witty joke for every occasion, even if the joke was on her, the family's statement reads. Her lasting legacy will be the gift of hope she communicated through music. Jane became a social media sensation after appearing on the 16th season of America's Got Talent last year. She received a golden buzzer from Simon Cowell for her performance of her song, It's OK, which became an overnight success as a video of her performance racked up over 34 million views on YouTube. She later had to withdraw midway through filming the season, revealing at the time her health had taken a turn for the worse since her audition. I am so sad to announce that I won't be able to continue forward on this season of AGT, she wrote on Instagram at the time. Life doesn't always give breaks to those that deserve it, but we knew that already. The singer-songwriter had been battling cancer for four years before her death. She previously revealed she had a 2% chance of survival, disclosing that cancer had spread to her lungs, spine, and liver. But 2% isn't 0%, she wrote in another social media post. 2% is something and I wish people knew how amazing it is. The AGT star shared a heartbreaking post before her death, revealing life was pretty brutal. In a post on January 11th, Nightbirdie shared what became her last selfie on social media before her death. She gave a soft smile to the camera alongside a heartfelt message to her followers on how she was feeling. She wrote, Honestly, things have been pretty brutal. But this is a photo of myself from last week where I felt pretty, and alive, and awake, and human, and real. The performer concluded, I needed that. We're all a little lost and it's alright. Last November, the singer went on CNN and gave fans an update on her cancer battle. While speaking to former host Chris Cuomo, Nightbirdie revealed her latest diagnosis and opened up about the pain of giving up. She said, I did get a scan result back and a bunch of stuff that was there has now disappeared, and a bunch of the really big stuff has gone down in size. We're on the way. It's a lot to process the highest highs and the lowest lows of my life all happening at the same time, and all of this playing out in front of millions of people is really, it's a lot to carry. But it's also such an honor because the whole world is carrying their own weight, and we get to learn how to do this together. When Chris mentioned if she felt comfortable to dream, Nightbirdie opened up. I think life sometimes is a game of choose your pawn so the pain of continuing or the pain of giving up. So, the pain of continuing there is a lot more uncertainty that way, but I think the pain of giving up is so much worse. Following the news of Jane's tragic death, which was first reported by TMZ, tributes to the performed have been pouring in across social media. Among those paying tribute was a GT judge Howie Mandel, who said Jane was such a bright inspirational light in all our lives. We must continue to live and learn from her words and lyrics. As much as I feel horribly about her passing I feel lucky to have met, heard and known her, Howie wrote. AGT host Terry Crews also paid tribute to the singer in an Instagram post, writing, We are saddened to learn about Nightbird's passing. Our condolences goes to her closest family friends in such of this difficult time. We love you, Nightbirdie. Jane's family have announced plans to hold a celebration of life service on Friday March 4, at Cornerstone Church of Licking County in her hometown of Nashport, Ohio. 
In lieu of flowers, the family is asking for fans to donate to the Nightbirdie Foundation online via GoFundMe. As of early Monday evening, the fundraiser had amassed $700,000 in donations.